Hello world, welcome to Gerandrlandia. I'm your host Gerander, and today we are going to continue working on the Wither Skeleton Farm designed by Ian X04. And uh, one thing I need to do first is I need to light this thing up. But I think I am going to put the door and the wall in place first. Now, I don't know why these are no aren't normal panels or blocks, but you know, here we are. I will do what they do. Then I light it up, but I don't go through. Oh, but I needed those coordinates, didn't I? Um, F3. The height is 217, so let's write that down. Y equals 217. And I can get these coordinates because they're below here. So this one is 28. Oh, I'm right under, am I right underneath? I am. Okay, perfect. So this is uh, 528 and negative 816. Well, this one is 527, negative 816. Okay, we need these. And I needed to uh, almost leave the game. Okay, so here we are. Now the next thing I need to do is build a portal up over here. I need to go 18 blocks over and I, this is for getting in and out of the farm, though I'm going to have a way up this way. But we'll do this, just, just to be clear. So we need 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Then I need to build another portal. So you can go in there, we'll grab those, and we've got, I don't have any of those, but I'll need some of those, and I'll need some of those. Crafting table done, and I did bring everything up because I was tired of, oh, I need some more different, like this. Okay, now, go. And I don't fully understand why this is here. They don't show how it's used in the tutorial. They just build it. So I'm going to build it. I may tear it down later, but we'll see. So, one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Stair. And slabs. This. And they suggest um, putting something on the other side so we don't fall off, so we'll do that as well. Put dirt bit there. Put one of those there and there. And I'll go to this so I can take that out. And ta-da. I may want to make this too wide, but if I'm going to tear it out, I don't need it too wide. And maybe I close this door. Should I light it? I think I'll light it. I think I will. That, and we'll put one of... Um, they say glass. They say glass. I'll do glass. I don't know why it's glass, but it is glass, so we'll do glass. Put those back up there. A little bit of glass here. Just so I don't step off into nothing. Like that. Like that. I still will probably step off into nothing, but there we go. And why door, why not regular blocks? I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'm going to check my notes quick just to make sure I'm doing this right, and I'll see in just a moment. Okay, notes checked. Now I need to go through the portal. Let's clean up our stuff. Take all this stuff with us. We will be coming back, but it's good to have our stuff with us anyway. And this is the portal I need to go through. Close the door behind me. Step into the portal. Don't fall down a hole. And this is going to be 119 generation. Hopefully I'll get some big mountains. I am deep underground. This is probably not ideal. I don't know where my F3 is. F3. Negative 17. <laughs> this is a long way down. Um, okay. Um, I'm supposed to break this portal. And then pillar up. I need to find the correct coordinates for what I'm doing. Oh, I should put, put down some torches too. That wasn't a torch. That. 
Those are some useful ores down here. I'm going to throw some of these down. Um, I'll keep this here for now. I'm going to put my st some of my stuff into my uh, ender chest. Right there, and you can go just right there. And then I'll pick you up. Now, I need to find the coordinates I'm looking for. I need to be at Y217, but I also need to find X4224 and negative 6528. So I pull up my F3. Um, I'm pretty dang close. 424, this is 424 right here. And negative 6528 is going to be right here. This is it. This is where we go up. Um, so I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to move the block. I'm going to move it over. Well, I don't need to get up here again. So maybe I will just pillar up using materials at hand. And so those materials at hand are going to be nether brick. Right there. And I think I have to go a long way up, so I'll bring five stacks. And maybe I can come down this. I'll create a little thing so I can come down, I think. All right, we're going to pillar up. We're going to take this out here. And I may hit lava going up doing this, right? I may. I may. It's possible. I'm going to be shot by any anything? I don't think so. So a torch down here anyway, just so I can see. Oh, there's more ores. So straight up, I should bring ladders or something. Well. well there's water. That's good to know. I'll switch. I don't want to wear out my pick. Okay, I'm going to continue on with this. We'll see you in a little bit. Hi everyone, I'm at the surface of the water, um, it's raining, it is night, I don't know the last time I've slept, I don't want uh, the terror pigeons to come terrorize me. So where's my thing, there it is, um, I've still got a bit to go, we are only at 63, we've got to go up to 213, 217, we've got a long way to go. I don't know where I am. Well, you know, I'm, I'm here. This is where I am. All right. P pillaring up. We'll see in a bit. Hi, everyone. Here I am at 216. Um, I need to go to 217, so one more block. I should almost increase my render distance just so I can see what's going on around here. Um, but I'm going to check my notes, and we'll, then we'll do something else. So we'll see you in just a moment. Okay, as it turns out, I did need to be one block lower than the number I picked, so I needed to go up to uh, 216, and we are at 216. Then I needed to find out which way is south, and I think this is south, facing south, and I need to bridge out 10 blocks. I'm going to take a risk, and I'm going to use slabs here. So let's double check this one. This one is F3. Um, 6529, negative 6525, this is where we need, I, I need it to be. So that means I don't have a way down, except for jumping. So we got 10 though, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10. And um, because distance is an important thing, I'm going to check the notes. I'll be with you in just a moment. Okay, yes, it is 10. And then I need to uh, open my inventory. I need to get access to my stuff. Let's see. Put that there. Oh, I've got a little bit of obsidian right there. I've got all this garbage. Where, where am I going to put this garbage? I'll put the garbage in here. It's garbage, but I'm going to keep it because I keep garbage. I'm a garbage collector. I'm going to put you back in there, and then I'll bring out my two boxes full of my project stuff. Okay. So then I need obsidian, and I need to make some of these. And I may make one more. Okay, because I'm building a portal, and this is going to be a three-wide portal centered on what I just built here. And it's going to be right there. Three. I thought I placed that block, but apparently I didn't. And I'm going to build up a frame like this. And I don't think I need to put slabs on top of these. Let's see if I can jump down now without jumping too far down, like so, oh, I can't get up there, like this, all right, um, next step, okay, so I need to block, this is where the mobs are going to come through, when they hit the portal down below in the spawning, they're going to come up here, this is where they're going, so, um, they have a very specific way that I'm supposed to block this off, I need one of those. And again, I don't understand why this is like this. But I'm going to do it this way. Then I'm going to do it this way. And then this way. And then this way. It doesn't... It seems like I could be able to put blocks down here and up there too. It seems like I should be able to do that. I'm not going to right now. Um, I may ask in the Discord how to do this or why it's like this. But in the meantime, what's next? Okay, the next bit is actually adding or widening this out to three blocks wide. So I think I have 10 here. Oh. So I'm going to actually do a bunch of these. Like this. And this may be enough. And if it's not enough, we'll, do, we'll, we'll make some more. Because what I'm going to do is put these down like this. And this gives it a little bit of design. Um, the mobs aren't going to care, but I might care. In fact, I do care. Like that. That may be too far, right? One. Oh, I need to count this now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I put it one too far. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dang it! You are going to have to come down. Okay. I'm going to tear this apart. I'll see you in just a little bit. No, no, that was correct. It was correct because we've got the pillar up. Oh my gosh, let me, I need to double check my notes. Yeah, that was correct. I'm going to rebuild it. I'll be with you in just a moment. Okay, back in place. Um, this has been widened to three. Now I need to put a handrail, a guardrail at eye level. And there's a part of me that really wants to use slabs, but I think this is going to cause problems later. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, yeah, they should not be able to get through here, but is this all I have for slabs? I've got 11 more. I'm going to stop one short here, and this may have to be adjusted in just a moment, but this is what I'm doing for now. Oh. I like the sound of walking on another brick. I need one more. I need one more. Like that. Like that. 
Good, good, good. Now what? Oh, the next thing is building another portal frame. Um, and I need, actually need to build it right here. So, um, do I have enough? Oh, I have enough, good. Right here. And I need some more of these. And yes, this is one block higher than that one over there. It's supposed to be. I actually like this combination obsidian and, and nether brick. I'm gonna have to do some, some real design with this. Like that. Like that. Okay. Next. Okay, so we need to put some nether brick slabs down here. So that way, so what happens is the nether skeletons or the wither skeletons come through this portal. They just kind of mill about and do nothing because there's no player, aka me, to keep them active. But their other ones coming through eventually push them through. And then they push them up the step and into this portal and they go back. So that's what we're doing. Um, next, I think, I kind of want to put something on the back side of this too, but we'll worry about the back side later. I think we're done with obsidian. So I need cobwebs. I, bring I hope I have three. I think these need to go right. Let me double check. I don't want to place these and not be able to get them back. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We need to put the cobwebs um, not right next to it, but right here. And this will slow them down for some reason, and that's what we're trying to do. The thing is, if they get pushed up here, they can jump up here suddenly. So I think I'm going to put a couple extra slabs. Do I have a couple extra slabs? I have a couple extra ones, but I, I want more. I always want more. I'm so greedy. Just to make sure that they can't make that jump. Like this. That's what we're doing. Now, um, I think they had me exiting through this one. But what I think I'm going to do is clean up my mess first. I need this. I need those, so keep those in my hot bar. Come back to me. Uh, uh. I had a sudden fear that I was going to lose those over the edge. So we'll put those. Well, let's put them right there. And then you switch for my silk touch. Oh, actually, I have an idea. I have something I want to do. See another bricks. This is not something that's in the tutorial, but I'm going to do it. Oh, just one. And then two of those. So I'm going to put a blocker on the back side of here. It's not strictly necessary, because when wither skeletons come this way, they're going to hit the portal and then go through, but I like the... I, I want a little bit of symmetry. So then I can pick this one up. And I can take this out, like that, and then I put this one in place, that, 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 I'll we'll go up here, clean you out, come down this way, and then I light this one, then I go back here, and I place the cobwebs. And then I go through this one. Where does it take me? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, through the door, quick. Oh, okay. That's that's okay. That worked out fine. See, that's where they're going to come through. And uh, now what? Am I done? Let me check the video. I'll be back in just a moment. Well, actually, it's done. This is it. This is 100% done. Um, it won't start up until I get on the AFK spot down below because I'm too high right now to activate the spawning platform. And now that I'm looking at this, I really want some uh, slabs down, down below there, which means I probably want... Well, I won't get slabs down below there. So, and then it'll take a couple minutes for the wither skeletons to work their way through. So let's stand down here. Um, let's wait a couple of minutes and see what happens. Hi everyone, um, it's been some time, no skeletons, there's something wrong. And unfortunately I think I know what it is. I think I needed to raise the ceiling. I bet the wither skeletons can not get in the portal. Let's see if I'm right. 
A little bit of danger, a little bit of adventure. A little bit of screwing up. I think I'm okay. I'm going to keep my stuff in my inventory. Because I've done this before. I've been down here before. It's not that bad, is it? Is it? Is it? Maybe it is. Maybe there's... There you go. Let me help you. Let me help you with the mob cap. Okay, so we've got blazes. Got a lot of things to kill here. Well, so things are spawning. This is good news. Oh my gosh! Run away! That was an adventure. Um, we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs>